Miller, Edna, you know what I mean? All up and through there, my people all through there, man. Three, four, right off Lake Street, you know what I mean? Dora Miller, Miller Beach. East side, I got people, of course, on the west side and all that. Gary nigga, man. It started off t Jizzle when I started rapping. That was from TJ. Uh, people that's close to me called me TJ and shit when I got to Minnesota. And then it converted to t Jizzle, but then I jumped on YouTube. It's already a t Jizzle, and I wasn't, you know what I mean, digging that. Flipped it to the G.I. Jizzle, you know what I mean? Changed the uh, J to a G. And it's like I'm from Gary, Indiana, you know what I mean? I'm off the the fatigue and I love the soldier shit, so, you know what I mean, it got, got motherfucking multiple meanings to it, and, you know what I mean, it just stuck. One thousand ENT is just me bringing substance to the game, you know what I mean, like, motherfucking having a, so much history and a story to tell and a way to articulate that shit in the way nobody else can, you know what I mean? It just being my motherfucking truth. And I just wanted the foundation to be, you know what I mean? Realism, man, you know what I mean? So it's a thousand entertainment, man. Everything we do is real, uh, authentic. Ain't no gimmicks, you know what I mean? Ain't no flaws or none of that fake shit, you know what I mean? It's just authenticity is guaranteed, you know what I mean? I was always a huge Tupac fan ever since I was a kid, you know what I mean? I really got in the rap like right around when he died and um, Machiavelli dropped. My OG wouldn't let me get it, but a friend snuck that motherfucker to me. He dubbed that motherfucker on the tape and snuck that motherfucker to me and I listened to that motherfucker every day front to back and shit, you know what I mean? Just hip hop took over for me. But as far as uh, around me, it was, it was it was my family, my cousin, my big cousin Hulo R.I.P. You know what I mean? His initials is on my face. You know what I mean? Like he was with me when I wrote my first rap. Um, shout out to MCGs and Gary. They was fucking with my uh, my older cousin in South Bend, and my cousin Hulo fucked around and and cuffed them for their beast to take for the beast that they had. And I stayed right across the street. Me and my OG ran over there. And, put the motherfuckers on and next thing you know we start writing, you know what I mean? So yeah. RP that nigga man. First song I actually recorded. Damn, I wanna say it was Snipe Snizzle, but I think it was actually Tang. Tang right low. My brother introduced him to me when I was young as hell. I was still in high school. Yeah, it was Tang. Shout out to him. He uh he fuck with um Strange Music. He produced for them now. Shout out Tang right low, man. Hell yeah. It was it was um my cousin, my first cousins. Niggas was motherfuckers ever since I was a kid growing up watching their ass. They always get money. They always fresh than a motherfucker. You know what I mean? They always out here doing what they wanted to do. When nobody messing with them, knew there wasn't no hoes out here. You know what I mean? Like that was that was always my inspiration. But you know what I mean? They took care of their family, took care of home. You know what I mean? Kids were straight. Like that type of shit. Move with integrity. Shit, man of respect. That's that's what I grew up idolizing. <clears throat> I, I was in Gary till I was about five or six. My pops moved. My, my parents split. My pops moved up to Minnesota when I was about five, maybe a little bit younger than that. I stayed a couple doors down from Dora Miller Projects, across the street from uh, Bethune. And um, shit, it was, it was, I mean, for what I knew from being that young, it was pretty average, you know what I mean? I didn't, 
feel like we were struggling and hurting for nothing, you know what I mean? I was cool, my family was good, like I had cousins I hung out with all the time and all that type of shit. And I ended up moving out of Gary when I was like five. My pops convinced my mom to move up to Minnesota and um, we came up here. But, you know what I mean, I always traveled back and forth, you know what I mean? I done went back and stayed periodically. But my mom is originally from South Bend, Indiana, which is probably about 50, 60 miles away from Gary. And when my grandma passed right before middle school, she left my mom a house, all of, uh, my aunts and uncles a house. So we ended up coming back to South Bend. So I was always in between, but you know what I mean? I love Gary. <clears throat> I got a family that's been there my whole life. They ain't gonna never go nowhere. I just shot a video out there that's gonna be dropping soon called Gary Nigga. You know what I mean? And you know, I always go home two, three times a year at least. Stay close to my roots, you know what I mean? And stay in tune with my people. Make sure they know what I got going on. And you know what I mean? I always know what's going on with them. I love where I'm from. That's why I say my name. Got 219 on my face. This South Bend right here, 574. Like, I love where I'm from. I got two kids, one biological, but two kids. Got a um, <clears throat> five year old daughter and a, a, my son to be two in November. gang of people out here, man. I done work with, um, shit. As far as, uh, DJs, I done work with Jazz State. I done work with Inferno. I done work with Rally. I done work with, uh, d Mill. Um, Cam Jones. Uh, What's my nigga name? Um, I can't remember my nigga name. The one that went to uh, South by Southwest was uh, Intense. DJ Intense. Um, shit, I done recorded with uh, e and That's my nigga. That's my producer right there, e and That's where the majority of my, uh, my production on this upcoming project is going to be by him. Um, but I'm also working with some other producers and shit too. I done recorded with the Dutch Ruger, motherfucking, um, 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 I done work with, I done work with a gang of motherfuckers. Uh, shout out my brother Young Smoke. Um, shout out my nigga Momo. He on that tip her. And he on this other single I'm finna be dropping soon. Um, it's a gang of motherfuckers, man. Too many to name, man. I fuck with whoever working. You know what I mean? So if motherfuckers out here making noise, they serious about that shit. I ain't just making shit and sitting on it. You know what I mean? Wasting time and money shit. We gonna get it in. We gonna get it in. For real. Nigga DB, um, motherfucking um, that nigga Skinny. I like his music. Uh, King Knight. I fuck with him. Um, a few other motherfuckers, man. It's a few motherfuckers out here that's really working. It's really working, man. It was crazy. It was like a whole string of events, you know what I mean, that led up to tip her. And it started with me getting shot in front of a strip club in front of Augie's downtown Minneapolis. And um, it was it was fucked up because it was a straight bullet, you know what I mean? It was something I know for sure it wasn't nothing that was meant for me. And it was, it was, yeah, it was just a crazy ass moment for me because my son was only three months. And you know what I mean? I was in a in a motherfucking rut at the time. But 
Long story short, the people at Augie showed me so much love. The owner, shout out Brian, he came and seen me at the hospital. You know what I mean? And just everybody there just showed me unconditional love. So once I healed up, you know, I started going back to that motherfucker. And you know what I mean? Part of me wanted to see if that shit was really for me or not. You know what I mean? And another part of me just love Augie's. I don't be fucking around nowhere else. You know what I mean? So. In the midst of that, you know what I mean? I'm going there multiple four, five, six times a week, and um, I start back doing my music. And then um, my nigga E. Mason dropped me off some beats. And motherfucking, I put the tip hair beat on, I was sitting in the car fucking with my nigga Smoke. And I just told him, like, man, we need to make weird. All the songs we was making was hustle, trap shit, or you know what I mean? Some dark shit. My man, we need something for the bitch. The nigga came up with the concept for Tip Her like instantly. As soon as I put that beat on, he started singing that shit. We went and dropped it. And I just felt like it was missing something. And the nigga took the time. My big brother, man, shout out to that nigga. He hit me the next morning. Man, I told him about the shit. The nigga said, man, the nigga, one more time. I said, oh shit. So that nigga come through, he came through, laced that motherfucker and like, no more guy on that motherfucker I knew it was over with. I said, this is a takeoff plan. I hadn't even planned on releasing a single that early, but you know, the vibes were just right. It seemed organic, you know what I mean? I knew I had an angle, you know what I mean? It's been a while since a motherfucker made a real strip club song that, you know what I mean, is promoting the girls making bread, is promoting, you know what I mean, the niggas that spend money people that got money to spend it, and, you know, the broke motherfuckers get the fuck out the way, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it was a, a win-win situation all the way around. I don't know if I can get in the right market with that, that could get my foot in the door, you know what I mean? And everything else will fall into place. Like, I don't have no issues with nobody, if that's what you're asking, you know what I mean? I don't got no issues with nobody. Right now, to this. The game is just about, about networking, you know what I mean? A lot of people, <coughs> <coughs> and I mean like, up and coming artists in Minnesota, they get so sucked up in this environment that they don't realize it's a whole world out there, you know what I mean? So when you getting out there on that road and you networking with people and they seeing that you serious and you 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 really working and you coming with quality product and you got a push behind it and also a budget because some money got to be coming from somewhere. Like doors going to open up, you know what I mean? And it's just, you know, it came from that monster seed of faith that I had, you know what I mean? It started from the tip her shit, like, you know what I mean? That was just something that I invested in. I, I put the shit on World Star. I uh, put a little push with 24K and bigger ranker behind that motherfucker, and, you know, it just started opening up more doors, and then, you know, motherfucker just keep working. Keep on trying to create more opportunities, you know what I mean? And that shit been working out like a motherfucker. That tour was a blessing in so many different ways, because now I got a lot more different resources, you know what I mean? A lot more upgraded, so these moves gonna keep getting bigger. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with the motherfuckers that, that helped raise me and this shit, the motherfuckers that was was getting me through my long, hard days and helping me, you know what I mean, motivate me to get money and, and hustle and keep my head up and shit fucked up, like the Boosies and the motherfucking Jeezys and Gucci's and shit like that, you know what I mean, the, 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 the real trappers and shit, you know what I mean. Um, I wouldn't say I got any particular artists right now that I just, you know what I mean, want to work with, I just want to, you know what I mean, keep on networking with with good motherfuckers, you know what I mean, and do good business and, and make good music, you know what I mean, and, you know, just keep shit organic, you know what I mean, I ain't finna be chasing no motherfucker down, I'm trying to get no verse, so, you know what I mean, the motherfuckers is gravitating towards what I'm doing, and, you know what I mean, the shit happens.
happen how it's supposed to happen. Shit, we gonna get it in. Love how them Detroit boys is working, man, for real. I was just talking about that shit. Them niggas working and they working together. You know what I mean? And everybody got on jewelry. Everybody is, they, you know what I mean? Doing verses with, everybody doing songs and verses. The motherfuckers is on, is fucking with the niggas that ain't known. Like, that shit beautiful, but it's just a different environment up here, man. And shit, I don't know. I honestly don't got no opinion on what nobody else doing, you know what I mean, with their career. Like, there's people out here working, making a little noise, you know what I mean? But, shit, I don't know. It's, it's weird, man. It's always weird. You know what I mean? But shout out to everybody working, though. You know what I mean? Like, it is some niggas up here just doing that motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? But as far as they work ethic, you know, you get what you put in the shit. Yeah. Backwoods. Remy. I can't drink. I will drink Henny, but I don't like that shit. It depends on what you say, what you mean by skinny, because there's some skinny thick bitches. I prefer a skinny thick bitch. Of course not. I mean, the feeling is just right, yeah. We vibing. I'm fucking with that, uh, that dumb and dumb and man, that dolphin key clock right now. That shit going crazy. Yeah, my place I've been going lately have the Estellas in the uptown. The seafood joint. I'm not even really looking for commercial success. I just want to remain independent and keep building this brand. Getting this merch off the, uh, getting, getting this merch out there, you know what I mean? And shit, you know, just make quality music, man, do good business. I got the, um, the website that's up and going right now, shop.gijizzle.com, that motherfucker got so much shit on there, man. We got backpacks, we got beast towels, we got stickers, we got the leggings for the ladies, we got the biker shorts, sports bras, motherfucking um, crop top hoodies for the ladies, motherfucking uh, bomber jacket, dirt bags, we got the jogging pants. There's so much shit on there, man. Shop.gijizzle.com, that shit going crazy. There's so many different colors and different ways you can design the shit and it's getting updated every day like it ain't even finished yet. Finna have to tip her shit on there. Um, that shit going crazy man. Um, follow me on motherfucking IG, GI underscore Jizzle. Motherfucking Facebook, GI Jizzle. Twitter, at GI Jizzle. On everything, you know what I mean? And shit. Motherfuckers just working, man. I'm just trying to keep on building this motherfucker brand. This dirt bags pushes 1,000 ENT. I got uh, the project dropping Underdog Volume One. It's gonna be dropping real soon. Got some crazy ass motherfuckers production on there. Crazy features. Motherfuckers just stay tuned, man. This shit gonna be big. And every song on the project gonna have a visual. And you know what I mean. I'm gonna just keep having visuals drop. I got a lot of shit in the works.